This is the most valuable tool in any one wheel shop. It's like a glove? Michael Jackson's glove. There's no way. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What? You qualified to touch that? I have never done this before. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah you're going to go right through the wall. Step away Let from the get... power tool. There's a reason you're here. Overkill there, Sean? Fire. This is going to replace all of this crap right here? Yeah. So there is a 180 degree turn right flush. Ooh, freshies. Did it. 84 volts. been this excited since the first desk install video. If you guys were hyped about that, check this out. Today we're going to be doing the creme de la creme of a best setup. It's going to have basically the best that the market has to offer right now. Talking a brand new controller box, a Chai battery, CBCSO 84 volts, which is the most power a one wheel can take right now. Mind blowing. But what else we got? We're gonna be doing a custom battery box uh, mod, CBCSO, which is pretty thick and wider. So we're gonna be doing some custom things to make it fit into a stock box. We'll also see if it's gonna fit into a custom 3D printed box. Not sure how it's gonna go, but uh, enjoy the process with us. Let's get it started. Give you a quick rundown. A little Fokker MK2 box, which is built with reinforced ABS plastic. We have a custom 3D printed box. Freshy bang bumpers. Cute. W varials. Half inch lifter blocks. I like that additional height when you're doing bonks and nudges. Oh, and don't forget oh. the CBCSO. Dang, she is thick. The standard polarity. So you don't have to worry about the re reverse polarity on a standard harness. And in fact, the guys at Makers PEV, um, they're actually distributing standard polarity harnesses now. So totally compatible with this. You don't need to do any sort of soldering or the XT60 uh, conversion mod. What's it called? You don't have to do the XT60 adapter for the reverse polarity now, now because they're completely light. Great news. Thank you, Chai, for um, doing that for the battery uh, from the feedback from the community. So, appreciate you guys. You actually need a special charger for the CBCSO. You cannot use a regular charger. It has a built-in BMS. Now you can balance your cells without taking out the battery or and connecting to, to a BMS or a BYOB, which is external charger. There she is. This is the Bluetooth receiver. Wow, these are additional cells. BMS, I think, is somewhere within here. It's gonna be a challenge putting this into a stock box. What do you think? <laughs> but we're gonna make magic here, make it happen. Controller itself. Ah, yes. Forget the components in here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, he was saying, okay. What? Wait a second. Let me find out. I think he said one thing. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, guys, for once, <laughs> for one second, I thought Brian was gonna have us install the controller itself. He made it transparent so you can kind of see the internals and where the, um, the the Fokker goes, which stands for Field Oriented Controller. Ready to go plug and play. This is gonna come out in a few more weeks, guys. They're working really hard on it. Also snag a standard polarity harness. Wow, standard polarity harness to go with 
the standard polarity CBCS. I have a fully assembled controller. Woo. All right, so I just got off the phone with Ui, partners with Brian over at Makers PEV, and he informed me that there is no heat shrink on these for now because these are reinforced cable sleeves at 12 gauge. So just to compare a stock harness gauge with this, it's a gauge or two higher. It's like a glove? Michael Jackson's glove. <laughs> what does that mean? It doesn't fit. Oh my god. Well, we always have the mallet, right? <laughs> the biggest mod, obviously, is we're gonna have to Dremel out this whole BMS section and also some of these slots here too. We're gonna look at the instructions from Chai Battery. <laughs> the instructions. Okay. Jesus, jumping right. Revealing all my secrets. We can patent this process. So how far are you trying to get it to? How far down? Off? Mm -hmm. Is there instructions? I just told you about the instructions! <laughs> Sean always says he doesn't need instructions until we run into trouble. It's fine. I have a lifetime warranty here, it's all good. Just curious. Ooh, I like that click. That was very satisfying. There's no way. Don't push too hard though. There's a BMS in there. Yeah, I know. Ouch, that looks like a lot of strain right there. Well, the harness is coming out. Hang on, let's take that out. Oh, that's true, okay. Oh, wow, so yeah, this, this is gonna replace all of this crap right here? Yeah. Yeah, because that. Sean, you could be a hand model. There Check this out. So stock, he's saying, this is what the enclosure should look like. Note that the plastic hole pole that secures the headlight does not need to be removed. Okay. Like this, okay. Module tucks in like this. So the Bluetooth module tucks into this corner okay. here. Want to put a little electrical tape to hold it down while you install the lid to keep it in place. Mm -hmm. XP60 should go here, upper left corner, and wires for harness route under the battery. So that's how it should look. All those slots are grooved out. So you gotta take all these slots out. Wow. So it looks like the headlight, the headlight slot here has to go too. So yeah, all that's gotta go. Even these upper four slots. That's the only way, huh? Yeah, remove it anyway because uh, Desk doesn't support headlight taillights for now. Yeah, those don't seem to touch. Tucked into the side. Yeah, right. facing down. With the wire doing a U sort of thing like this. Was the cable this way? Let me see. Like wrapping around like that. Come on, do that again. Put on the lid. Let's just see how it is right now. Yeah, we're pretty far off, right? <laughs> We have clamps and a mallet. Let's see what's going on in there. Too much in the battery box. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's like a, a whole individual piece that comes right off. Nice, make way. I guess these will come off too. Demolition. Oh, 
works. Some hope here. Still popping out like quarter of an inch. But there's some slack that can be compressed with the foam and all that, right? <laughs> sure. Sure. Sean, at least at least lie to me. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna get anything, so say this is gonna fit in. Okay, you can only do that because it's standard polarity, right? Yeah, it's not connected. Oh, right. Let's turn this around. Okay, after much finagling, we found a way to fit this in without too much pressure on the battery leads. So you kind of have to sneak it in where it's pointing directly down at the top of the battery pack and then letting the cables wire like so, or wrap like so. So there is a 180 degree turn here, but it's not like completely being pressed by the battery box. I think before it was like up here. Yeah, now we kind of moved it here, so it's right flush with the panel. So I think when the battery lid closes, yeah, it feels pretty good. The side. What do you think, Sean? Ah, that looks pretty good. Give me some affirmation! <laughs> no. <laughs> I wasn't comfortable with how it was before. Now this, at least physically, just touching it, I'm pretty good with that. And Sean's also relatively Gooder. good with that. Yes. All right, let's go for it. This is another option, if you like, is a 3D printed box by Philip for extended batteries. It does slide right in, which is really nice. However, the only thing is the tail light enclosure for this one is not sealed. You can have them sealed by him or you can probably do that easily yourself. Consider this option if you guys are looking for extended 3D printed box boxes. It actually does have a little bit more space in here for the, um, the battery leads. Let's see the fit real quick. Just... Definitely more flush. Like that's totally reasonable, right? More so than stock up. That looks promising. There's this little cable that pops out here. I think it's one of the power leads. Power leads, okay. <laughs> Wish it was tucked in maybe somewhere here. See how this is with a 3D printed box okay. because it is yeah. deeper. I know, I don't know. We're working on it. Okay. There we go. Yep. A little it. All right. This is the most valuable tool in any one wheel shop. I have to do a round two. The boys are here to ride trails here in Santa Cruz. We're very confident we're gonna get this resolved, but yeah, it's gonna be so worth it. 2,000 years later. <laughs> Another nice chunk there. You could probably keep going, right? I need to get a part of this too. Watch oh, it. hey, hey, hey. Watch you qualified it. to touch that? 
I have never done this before. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna go right through the wall. God, that scared me. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna stop. Step away. Step away. One chunk step off. away from Here, the power tools. Try. Okay, I took off a few pieces. There's a reason you're here. You gotta like let it melt. It softens up the plastic, so as you hold it, it softens it up. So don't push too hard into it. Okay, back to you. <laughs> I went a little deep there on the first one. Ooh, we're gonna see daylight, so we're good. Snug as a bug in a rug. Flush. Cable heat shrink. We figured we put this on just in case. The newer versions of the harness will have this heat shrink on already. So you can get this on Amazon. Sear the edge of sleeve to prevent the fraying. Progress. Yeah, so with the additional space we've created from more shaving. It definitely is fitting better. It's way more flush. Completely flush. Just a little popping out a little bit. How's the left side? The left side is way more. Yeah, that's normal. Though. That's normal? Okay. Yeah, this is flush now. Excellent. Right, See if she'll go together. By the way, the CBCSO does have instructions included. You already know all this from speaking with Chai Batteries and Barra even sent me a little bit more detailed pics. A really cool thing is the CBCSO has a smart BMS that you can connect to the app and monitor your battery's health, which is pretty darn cool. The CBCSO is the way to go if you want everything BMS, uh, high voltage, the most power, 84, ma 84 volts max output. At the end of the day, this is a DIY solution. You gotta find your MacGyver spirit within you. Majority of it is gonna be in the stock battery box, so once you overcome that hurdle, much of it is more like a CBXR install and becomes much more standard. We are nearly there. All right, how are we feeling, Sean? All fits. Very nice. Okay, one step we forgot. Try to tape down the the harness and the cables inside with some electrical tape, just so it stays in place, so it doesn't move while you're screwing on the lid. Um, but everything's fitting flush. Right now, things are looking good. So stock box is doable. Freshies. Eventually. Did it. MacGyvering, mallet, flamethrower. Got her done. If you don't want to do as much modifying, consider getting this 3D printed box from Philip. I will link his website below in the description. It's pretty flexible, so it has some give to it. This actually fit a little better without any mods than the stock box. Had some more space in the corners here for the end cables. But essentially, yeah, this is the way to go. I think it's uh, about $60, so way less work involved. So consider this box if you want more of a drop-in solution. Or well, here's another solution. Check this out. Use some bubble wrap, put it in your bumper, smack a lid, put some grip tape, and you are good to go. Just kidding. Don't do this. Uh. <laughs> Just put in the lifter blocks from the Float Life. It gives half inch more clearance in the nose and tail. So for me, combining it with the WTF varials is going to be the perfect combo. Do you have now, a magic controller, sir? Yeah. Final touch. The 
Shen. The MK2 box, better material, more waterproof, less prone to cracking, but this is a nice long-term solution. Fully plug and play. If you don't want to deal with assembling components in the Fokker itself, wait for the plug and play $700 and you just drop it in like your stock controller and you are good to go. Literally a lighter. We're going full low torch. A little overkill there, someone? For our next trick, make the harness disappear. It's a lot of fun. That was a nice click. See what <laughs> so we decided not to cut the cables to reduce the slack, but what ends up happening is you're gonna get a lot more uh, cable in the controller box, controller area. So we're gonna take off the heat shrink to free up some space, because you don't really need it in here. Should fit better. Looks pretty good. It'll work. She's almost done. This is a funky color scheme. What do you guys think? Drop in the comments. I haven't seen this one done yet. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> It's better to be remembered controversially than not remembered at all. Go loud, go proud. Yes, sir. This. Check these out. These are the new Chopper Mini Fenders by 3D Way, aka Floater Shack. They are the same company. But these are amazing to have on your board to block some dirt and debris and a little bit of water and you can still see your tire roll. A sexy trip. I'll put the link in the description. Just really complete the look of the board. Good luck. Sean, test it out. The guy who put it together should uh, stand behind his work and check if everything works. Oh, right. hell no. She's all done. 84 volts max, 72 volts nominal, half inch lifter block, WTF aerials, Push wide, freshy bang bumpers, MK2 controller box from Makers PEV, stock battery box, standard polarity CBCSO, standard polarity harness running through, mini chopper fenders by 3D Way. Can't forget the Enduro tire. Now that we got her set up, we basically don't need this. Or this anymore. Great thing with Vesk is once you go this route, yes, you'll have to put invest a couple hundred dollars for the controller. The awesome thing is you can then sell your stock controller and your BMS. So that's about seven, eight hundred dollars back in your pocket to help recoup the cost for Vesk. Let's run a motor config. <laughs> Someone scared. Success. It's over, Jake. You're safe. I'm not safe. I'm never safe. You need a bunker. Oh, 
test. We're doing some gnarly trails here in Santa Cruz with it. So stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna test this baby out. Exciting things to come. Just here to share with you guys how fun it is. Aside from the obvious uh, open source and ability to, to customize and repair, it's just incredibly smooth feeling, super powerful, and the edge balancing feature is just super addicting. So I hope you guys can hop on a VESC, see and try for yourself. You. I know I gave it to you. You want the flow life, dude? It's your party pooper, Sean.